And we find ourselves waiting for that perfect time, right? And the truth of the matter is, like, there's never a perfect time. There's always going to be something on your plate. And if you find yourself waiting for your perfect time, whatever it might be, I promise you're going to be waiting for a really, really long time. <laughs> Fitness, and this is the Ian Fitness Inside Look, and today I'm here with Jean, one of our VIP clients, and we want to share her story to hopefully inspire you and help you with your fitness goals. Jean, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me, Ian. And yeah. this is Sergio Alejandro, by the way. Absolutely. The absolutely. Ian Fitness mascot. He comes with me every time I'm here. He is an extra good motivator, for sure. Well, listen, why don't you start us off and, and share with our audience a little bit of your story, and um, you know how you got started with Ian Fitness and, and ultimately like why you wanted to get started with Ian Fitness. I was really on fire um, at the weight I wanted to be and then I met Dave, my husband, we got married and you know what they say. Um, <clears throat> what do things, they say? Uh, what do they say? You get married and you get lazy because you don't have or to. Or you get comfortable. Or you get, com you get comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, that's a better word. I tried on and off for 20 years because September 26th was our 20th anniversary. Um, and like two years ago, I want to say, almost two years ago, I saw on Facebook one of your um, little sense. black dress, LBD um, challenges. Mm -hmm. And I signed up, but at the very same time, uh, a whole bunch of challenges um, with my parents and personal life um, came together, so it was not the perfect storm, and I was not able to follow through with my commitment to a better me. Um, and then almost a year later, it was April of, no, it was March of this year, mm -hmm. um, again, I saw the LBD challenge, and I'm like, you know what? It's never going to be the perfect time, right? It's gonna always going to be the perfect time. I'm going to stop you right there. What a great lesson, too, because so often in life, whether it's fitness or whether it's a business decision or whether it's a personal decision, we find ourselves waiting for that perfect time, right? And the truth of the matter is, like, there's never a perfect time. There's always going to be something on your plate. And if you find yourself waiting for your perfect time, whatever it might be, I promise you're going to be waiting for a really, really long time. And the truth of the matter is sometimes you just have to make it the perfect time. Like, you have to just commit get started like Jean said that she did she saw the ad a second time and realized you know what it's either now or never in terms of making this my time and then you you got started and we got rolling with some personal training right yeah i i sent a message because i wasn't 100 percent sure with my challenges physical challenges if i could do a boot camp and it turns out uh you decided it would be better to do personal training and um, it was the right decision. So you decided to get started with some personal training yes. and you're coming in probably on average a couple times a week, sometimes even more. And you know what I would, I would love for you to share is that number one, for you to decide that you wanted to make a change and commit to doing it with that simple fact being more challenging than other people. Like what is it about you and that other people might be able to adopt in terms of mindset that says, you know what, like, yeah, it might be hard. Yeah, it might be challenging. Yeah, I might try to do something and realize it's not the best fit for me and I need to do something else. But what is it about you that kind of push you to actually get started and, and kind of take that risk? Because it was a risk to get started, right? Yeah. Um, financial risk, time risk. Uh, life has not gotten easier. In fact, life has gotten harder. And yet, here I am. Things happen to us, and we can view it as things happen to us, or we can view it as things happen for us. And when we have the mindset that it's happening for us, then, as Jean said, you end up having a chip on your shoulder and you want to prove people wrong, or prove people that you're capable of. So when somebody uh, suggests that she might not be capable of doing something, her mindset is, well, watch me, I am going to do this. And I think it's probably the same day, same, same, same idea when it comes to the exercise, or come to 
commuting across town to come to personal training a few times a week, it's like if somebody's like, oh, you probably can't do that, you can't fit it into your busy schedule, you can't fit it into your budget, you can't take the risk, you're like, oh yeah, watch me do this, right? Right. Yeah. Something um, along the same lines, one of the reasons why I love our football team so much, back in the day when um, Doug Baldwin never got the contract and Richard Sherman was too skinny and, and Russell Wilson was too short, all those things are um, reasons why people didn't ask me to join their team, right? Um, and we're not pedestrians, and I loved that. This is, this is what a pedestrian is, you know? Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna swear, because this is G-rated. I'm just saying. I don't like being told what to do, or that I can't do what to do. In fact, you know that, right? Because he do have always some during the training session. He sure. always <laughs> tells me to stop, and I always do one or five or ten more. Yeah. It's interesting uh, with with clients. It's usually kind of one or two ways. It's either encouraging people to do more and helping them realize that they can do a, a few more reps or a few more exercises or add some weight. And then there's a, a few clients, and this is one of them, where the role is actually reminding them to pull back a little bit to prevent injury, prevent overuse, and kind of finding that actual balance. And um, it, you know, those the people that kind of have that mindset where it's like, I wanna do more, you can't tell me what I'm capable of, what I'm not capable of, well, you'll find that the success is not limited to one area in their life, right? So as Jean mentioned, you know, overcoming challenges that she's had to overcome in her life, it's no surprise that when it comes into the gym that she's a very, very hard worker and that she's not going to deny uh, being successful. I mean, she's in here, you know, as soon as possible after surgeries, probably maybe even a little bit too soon sometimes. But again, it's just that mindset that she's not going to be denied and when she really puts her mind to something. So I, I, very admirable, very inspiring. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, some of the benefits of having that mindset um, tangible benefits. Dave and I, my husband and I, live downtown. Actually, where First Hill ends and downtown begins. So at the base of First Hill on Seneca Street, which is not the steepest street in Seattle, but one of them. And uh, last summer, I was doing easily five mile walks to the waterfront and back. And when I when we first started doing that, so we've lived there about a year and a half now, <clears throat> um, and it was March that I started working out and um, I was not capable of pushing up those hills at the time. <clears throat> last summer after only like four months I'd say yep. if that um, and that included uh, the first of two surgeries that I've had over the last um, six months uh, I was able to push up from from Western or Alaskan Way up to 7th Avenue where we live uh, without help from my husband and that's directly associated with the amount of strength that I've built as a result yeah. of Ian. That's awesome and it's it just goes to show one of the things that you know oftentimes the things that bring us into the gym or that to get us started whether it's you know wanting to lose weight or burn fat it's really the benefits after those things that have the biggest impact on our lives right it's great to maybe step on the scale and see some changes and it's wonderful to have clothes fit a little bit better but all of a sudden, if you're able to go for walks in your life that you weren't able to do previously, or you're able to have extra energy with the kids, or go on hikes, or get around town and feel comfortable doing so, like those are the real big life-changing differences. So it's it's exceptional that you've experienced those, and I know that that's probably one of the big reasons that keeps you coming back, right? Because those are the things that are, are the most meaningful in life and, and kind of really make the difference. And when we're reflecting and looking back, it's not, hey, was it at, was it at my goal weight necessarily? It's 
was I able to do the things that I wanted to do uh, pain-free and, and, you know, and enjoying the experience. So that's wonderful. Well, listen, thank you so much for being on the Ian Fitness Inside Look. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome, and I appreciate you sharing your story and inspiring others. And um, uh, I look forward to our next training session. All right. All right, thanks. Thursday yeah. at 10. <laughs>